Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Nikhil Shahzad back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a photo real human inside the Blender by using Human Generator. So you can download or buy it from Blender Market. So I mentioned the link under description. It's really powerful and helpful plugin. So so make sure you can buy it from here otherwise you can download it from nullpk.com if you want to use it for educational purpose so i recommend you can buy it so let's start i already installed it so here we go here we have a human general uh, in we'll just click on select a body type here so i'm using uh, this one third one so generate new human you can use for so let's sorry so here we go so so let's begin so next thing there is many option first we start with body so you can just simply click on random so as you can see here it's automatically change with different variations so otherwise you can uh, play around with these settings so i need a muscular man like that so our weight so no we don't need too much our weight skinny no skinny chest like that it's look like a bodybuilder next we just click on next tab now we have a face option as you can see here there is every single option you can get for face like upper skull eyes ears nose lower skull mouth cheeks cha chin and <coughs> and the what we call it ethnicity ethnicity i don't know how to pronounce it i'm really sorry if i pronounce it wrong so let's play with that forehead size so if we increase it now okay temple size pro ridge lock horizon vertical so you can play around with these uh, options like that i don't know what i do here with ears nose there is a lot of options so you can create yourself with these settings if you know exactly about your face anatomy so you can use it for creating your own face so i just prefer i'm using just randomize all like that just it's give you different kind of variation so here we go so let's see which is look good okay no no nose is too big for me nose no no okay that's look okay for me next thing we have here what okay let's play a little bit about with chin here height dimple Javid. Okay. And here we go. So in next tab we have a shader option. So for that option we just enable viewport shading. So let's see how it's look like. It's take little time because it's just loading a uh, shader com so as you can see here but as I see our jaw is too big so it's okay for me so let's change the face again I don't like the face yeah that's looking okay but nose is too big let's decrease the size of the nose here like height location yes uh, still too big for me okay okay trip angle t 
Tip size Tip weight Now it look like Lord Morty Ward from Harry Potter I think if we change it more so that's looking okay for me next thing we go to a shader so let's play with shader there so we just turn on the live rendering live viewport rendering so as you can see here we are using what we say EV for that I don't use a cycle for this because we don't need anything really perfect for that so let's uh, I turn on the EV as you can see here there is some shadow so we don't need that we just delete the light here we use a HDRI light so here we go if we just add HDRI that's look more good to me so like so again here so now we have our shader here so subsurface scattering we just on it so as you can see here if we off it it's not look really good if we on it so it's look more great and good so first we change our HDRI image so I'm using transportation uh, pack for blender so I use that HDRI so there's some kind of sorry let's take a look so that's looking okay for me now let's play with our shader so tone here black oh my god that's look chocolate statue but we do like that redness all the way down I don't know why it's too much shiny okay roughness yes. normal mapping like that okay redness increase okay but it's look more bumpy so we just take down normal map little bit now it's look more clean okay so next thing what we have eyes so we change it to a blue so as you can see here in the pupil pupil so we just take it a little bit sky kind of look so that's looking great for to me next thing we go in dark and light areas so dark areas it's light and the dark areas so like on they don't sleep really well light areas so that's strong okay for me and freckles so as you can see here we don't need too much freckles that's looking okay and the plotches I really don't know what is that mean but I see the changes so okay now beauty spot beauty spot is some kind of dot or beauty dot on your face so we don't want that that too much So that's okay for me now it's age it's uh, this is the awesome tab age now if we add skin sizing it's just look like your skin is go down by age so as you can see here now it's look more older than before so here we go now the fun part is wrinkles as you can see here if we add wrinkles uh, it's gonna look more old and old but we need fresh looking guy 
like that that look okay that one thing is disturbing me now the light is not perfect so what we can do here uh, okay so we change the HDR image or we just rotate it for give them more light so that's looking okay and we need to decrease the roughness I think now it's look okay now they have more oily skin now go down and here is bear and mustache shadow we don't need that because we just add a real beard and mustache so as you can see here if you go in hair tab it's really give you really awesome hair and what we say mustache so first we add here so if we click here as you can see so they are really beautiful hair on your head so if you use a cycle so it's look more realistic so hair material, hair length, facial hair, so add some beard or moustache or just it'll be like that. Let's see how it's look like. Hmm. So that's look like awesome. No, that's not looking great we add this one so so that look full grown man here so here you just change the length eyebrows for hair length anything hair material so if you just go in here in lightness roughness pepper next tab is a uh, length oh my god what is that happen <laughs> we just do something wrong here I think okay what's going on so we just change the hair okay so now select facial hair I don't know what happened to my hair before I don't know what I click so <sighs> okay one of the m most uh, difficult to work in blender sometimes it's crash uh, when you on last of your uh, project so I uh, must we first we must save this file so and we just save it uh, in desktop with a uh, human blend file so here we go now we are happy with that so next we need a lens so I make it round about six feet tall or it's looking okay for me finish creation phase okay you can't go back when uh, if you click on that option and confirm it so you can't go back or do any editing so if you just want to leave it like that so you can just close it or just click on finish phase so let's see so now So if we just render it with cycle, let's see how it looks like. So So if we go and shader this is happening because of subsurface scattering, so we just off it so you can see how it looks like. So that's looking awesome to me so 
comment below what you think about that plugin so and this is really awesome to me because you can create a quick human with that with different shapes and different hairstyles and different kind of body so just run it 10 24 okay, press 0 in here so let's take a little time to break your rendering so i hope you like this video thanks for watching if you uh, don't subscribe my channel subscribe it now so like this video share with your friends and what you wanna see more just comment below thanks for watching bye bye